mistress. My guest and I don't want to be disturbed. Oh, yes, I understand. We're having a little rest. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> you know she's got it in her room, don't you? A captain, an army officer, a Captain Bumptious. Yeah, oh, oh, I can't stand these. Do you know these army types? I can't stand these army types. They all talk so high, don't they? It's up there. No, it's all like that. What do you do? You feel they should loosen something, or, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> let's have a spot of tiffin with our muffin. <laughs> I can't stand them. Anyway, none of our business, I suppose. Well, let's get... Greetings, good citizens. Now, let's get on with the prologue. Ooh, now... <laughs> It's always cold, this bench. <laughs> now, I'll st by the way, you don't mind if I just uh, go on cleaning my master's sword, do you? Because it's got rusty, like the rest of his equipment. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, well, no, I won't. No, I'll do it afterwards. You can't do two things at once. Now, here we are. Now, about the prologue. Our story this week concerns the Greek god Pan. Pan. Now, Pan, as you may or may not know, has the hooves, the ears, and the horn of a goat. A goat. And no buts about it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh please yourselves. Anyway, <laughs> now this god Pan used to spend much of his time chasing nymphs. Excuse me. <laughs> chasing... <laughs> chasing nymphs through the woods. And when he wasn't doing that, he was a plumber. <laughs> You must have heard the old song, The Furry Furry Pipes of Pan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. As soon as you heard me say Pan, you thought, here it comes. He's clean round the bend. That's what you thought. <laughs> No, ladies and gentlemen, we don't descend to that level of human on this show. Now you know that. <laughs> anyway, it came to pass. Oh dear, my master's coming back. I better warn the mistress. Uh, um, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Were you responsible for this, you oaf? Yes, Captain Bumptious. Oh, don't you dare do it again. Yes, but Captain. Finish to next to, finish to next to, finish to next to, finish to next to. Go on, tell me dust! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, luck you. Now, men, I. Where did they go to? Uh, well, I think when you sinister, they must have dextered, Master. <laughs> ah, I see you finished my broad piece. Yes. <laughs> what about my small piece? Well... <laughs> I didn't think that was worth bothering with, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes, um... You don't call me Master. Ma no. General Ludicrous when I'm in uniform, Gen remember? Yes, General Ludicrous, Master. General, yes, sir, yes. yes. Oh. oh, it's good to be back in command again. Command. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Would you believe the third Pompeian foot and mouth? <laughs> I say, yes. we take the field against the barbarians on Saturday. On Saturday? Oh, yes. yes. Home or away? <laughs> oh. <laughs> away? War's no fun at home, you ah, know. Ah, no, Master, no. I say, has what? Captain Bumptious arrived yet? Uh, well, I don't think so. Oh, that's odd. I arranged to meet him here to work out some manoeuvres. Yes. Oh, I think he's doing those all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he's in the public park. Oh, Good fellow, Bumptious, you know. Very keen on it. Yeah, so I gathered, yes. <laughs> I'll march down there. Yes. Sinister dick, the sinister dick, the fat <laughs> There he goes, Hercules unchained. <laughs> See, old fool, he's past it. All these Romans, they get me down. They're war mad. They are, they're war mad. They're never happier when they're bashing away at something. <laughs> but the captain up there. <laughs> He's on manoeuvres, all right. Oh, well. I had there. I think I'd better warn him. Excuse me, I'd better warn the captain. Here we go again. Oh, oh miss. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind, please? I'm trying to act. <laughs> I told you before, you clod. I'm coming down there to deal with oh, you. No, no. Oh, no. Well, you, I can't seem to find anybody. Well, there's... You know, there's nobody in the army now wants to get at it and have a go. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> ah, Bumptious, wanted to see you down at headquarters. It's about the draft list. We need every able-bodied man. What's up? Pip, pip. <laughs> <laughs> One day, if you were to serve in the army, I'd like to get you in my regiment. Oh, no, I'm not able-bodied, sir. 
I have this funny tremor running down my back. It's called fear. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But if you were to serve in my cohort, I'd make a man of you. If that's even remotely possible. <laughs> Cheeky devil. <laughs> so hear that parting Sally. Make a man of me. The last person who said that to me was my first girlfriend. She damn near made a father out of me. <laughs> Oh, all these soldiers, they get me down these army types. Honestly, they're so arrogant, aren't they? Honestly, I've never seen people with arrows so gant. <laughs> <Not at all. laughs> never mind. No hap, no hap. Let us get on with the prologue. Now, it came to pass. Whoa, whoa, in the oh, dear. Here she is, uh, Senator Soothsayer. I wish, I wish they'd call her up. Not that she's got much left to fight for. <laughs> Well, three times have I gazed into it. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, she didn't miss it. Well, well, well. Please explain to us. <laughs> She's been drinking chloroform. I'm sorry. Dear. I see a terrible contest between Pompeii and the barbarians. Oh, really? Who's going to win? Now get your coupons out. <laughs> She's a good forecaster. Now. Scoff not. Scoff not. Scoff not. I said scoff not. <laughs> what do you think, there's a scoffy break? <laughs> I see you clearly, do lying you? cruelly slain on the battlefield in Gaul. In Gaul? Disemboweled! Disemboweled? <laughs> Disemboweled! Drenched with blood! Oh, I know. The bows are ringing for me and my Gaul. <laughs> Oh, whimsicality upon whimsicality. Take heed of my words and beware! Right. Beware! Oh, silly old bag, honestly. <laughs> oh, she is. She puts the mockers on me. She really does. I mean, cruelly slay on the battlefield. I'm not even the army. Oh, no. Not me. Oh, when the men go off fighting, I stay at home, I tell you. Oh, no. Well, let's face it, some poor devil has to stay here and take care of the women. Let's face it, you know, attend to their needs and so on. <laughs> not that I do much since sewing on. <laughs> not since I've lost my thimble. <laughs> nay, thrice nay. Now, the prologue. It came to pass. I can't do it. I can't do it. What's going on today? But that, that, was the, the, that was nauseous. The master's young son, excuse me. I better go and see what's wrong, excuse me. Oh, what a shame. I'd better get him a handkerchief. I don't want him to wet himself. <laughs> now, oh, oh. there, there, there. Oh, there, 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 there. <laughs> Ever so there, there, there. What's the matter, young master? I like you. I can't do it. Pardon? <laughs> I can't do it. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. You're not the only one who can't do it. <laughs> you don't understand. What? They want to conscript me into the army. Well, you won't have a chance to do it then, will you? So why don't you? I'm against war. I... I love my fellow man. Well, don't misunderstand him. <laughs> like you. What? Will you join my peace movement? Peace movement? Yes, my what? peace movement. You, you want to fight against war? Yes. Gladly, I will, gladly. You see, I've already written an ode to launch my campaign. An ode? Ah, oh, how nice. <laughs> I was wondering how we are going to work it in. <laughs> ode to peace. Over oh, all their promises of peace still blows the martial trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> But we don't want a piece of words. We want a piece <laughs> of mind and body. <laughs> I was lost for a rhyme there, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you'd be more sorry if you didn't. <laughs> what we really need here is a Lysistrata. Yeah, but now that's ridiculous. Now, uh, you can't find Lysistrata to match with Trumpet, can oh, you? Oh, no, no, Lachio. She was the famous Greek woman who stopped the men from going off to war. Oh. Oh. Lysistrata. That Lizzie, yes. Oh, then you know how she did it. Yes. Oh, everybody knows how she... <laughs> did what? Well, she stopped the men from going to war by persuading their women to... Well... Oh, well, well, not to. <laughs> not to what? <laughs> you know, Lurkia. Not what? to let their men... <laughs> oh, Lurkia, I can't say it out loud. Not on this show? <laughs> 
you can say anything now. Come on, don't be shy. Go on, have a bash. No, not to cohabit. Oh, he said it. <laughs> that dreaded seven-letter word. <laughs> cohabit. It wasn't so bad, was it? I can't think what all the fuss has been about. Oh, we'll never find a Lysistrata here. No, I don't think we ever will. But I don't care. They won't get me into the army. I'll kill myself before I let lift a finger against my fellow man. Yes. I'll kill myself. Oh, he, yeah, he will too. He's very sensitive. Oh, it's shockingly sensitive. Do you know, the day he was born, he cried. He did. <laughs> 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 No, he did. He cried his eyes out. Not for himself, for his mother. Poor soul. <laughs> ah, well, no, you see, this fool, this doctor, he was short-sighted, you see, and he held the mother up by her feet and smacked her back. <laughs> <up. laughs> the boy's confused. Anyway, <laughs> let's go down with the prologue. Now it came to pass that this god Pan said... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. No, oh, Captain Sir, oh, if you've come to borrow a cup of sugar, I've been looking for you. Oh. Come here. Where? There. There. Yes, sir. There. I've got something for you. Oh, what, Prezi? General, you would have said that I might have the great pleasure of giving you these oh. myself. Well, I'm awfully sorry. I haven't bought anything for you, you know. Look at them! Oh, yes. I hope they're not Christmas cards. I haven't got mine here, do you? <laughs> now, Lurkio to report to headquarters at 0700 hours, Saturday. <laughs> My call-up tablets. <laughs> Precisely. And in my regiment. Yours? E-N-S-A cohort. E-N-S-A? Ensa? <laughs> oh, that'll be all right then. <laughs> I shall be able to wear my ballet shoes. <laughs> Ensa! East Naples Suicide Army. <laughs> <laughs> East Naples Suicide Army. Oh, dear. That old bag Senna was right. Oh, dear. Lying cruelly slain on the battlefield, disemboweled. Oh, no. I don't want my bowels moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're all right. Where they are. Oh, my God. Oh, ye gods. Please, don't let me die. Don't let me die, ye oh, gods. God. Wait a minute. Do you mind? I haven't finished yet. <laughs> There's hours to go. <clears throat> oh, ye gods. Don't let me die. Oh, I'm too pretty to die. Please, don't let me die. Oh, I ask you, I beseech you, don't let me die. Not to die. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> now, what do you want? Thank you. Yes. I don't want to die. You don't want to die? I'm too young to die. Too young to die. We shall overcome. We will overcome. We shan't go to war. We won't go to war. Down with war. Down with war. Down, down, down with war. Down with war. <laughs> What a shocking actor, isn't he? <laughs> Hard to carry that scene completely. Did you see that? <laughs> now, where was we? Oh, I know. Yes, Lysistrata. Now, where can we find another Lysistrata? Because then the men wouldn't go off fighting if they didn't get their bit of cohabit first. And if they didn't go, I wouldn't have to go. But where can I find a Lysistrata? That's the point. I must think, think. You're right. No, you're wrong. No. <laughs> well, I wonder. Yes, I could dress up myself, I suppose. Drag up. That's it, it's fashionable. Pretend to be Lysistrata. Oh, I could... Right, let's try it out, shall I? Yes. Now, all you women in the audience, if I were to preach no cohabiting, no cohabiting with men, would you support it? Yes! Yes, well, in that case, none of you need bother to come round to my dress room. <laughs> As we march out at dawn tomorrow, tonight, we could have a, a few friends in and, and have a bit of a banal. Oh, really, Ludicrous? I don't see that you carrying off every able-bodied man in the city anything to celebrate. Excuse me, butting in like this, General. It's rather urgent. What is it, Captain Bumpshish? It's the men, sir. They're refusing point-blank to march tomorrow. If it, but they were dying to go. Not any longer. It seems, sir, that their women are refusing to, uh, to kiss them goodbye. <laughs> Refusing to, to kiss? Is that all? No, sir, but it's as far as I care to go in front of the ladies. What? <laughs> oh, I see. You mean that the women refuse to uh, the, transport themselves from that bank of the river to this one? I'm afraid I don't quite follow, sir. Really, Ludicrous, what he means is they won't come across. <laughs> <laughs> This is preposterous. We must put a stop to this sabotage 
Punctious, call a meeting of the women in the marketplace. They're already there, uh, sir. This Titty Carter woman is holding another meeting. Titty Carter? <laughs> She's the woman behind all this trouble, sir. The woman Titty Carter. So I say again to you, women of Pompey, I say again, don't give out to those men, give in. <laughs> it's me. I'm not using a double, it's me. Now, <laughs> now, tomorrow, the men wish to go off fighting, don't they, ladies? They want to go fighting. And tonight, they will be looking for the little bit of incentive, as usual, won't they? Yeah. But we won't give it to them. Tonight, ladies, is our D Day. D for don't. 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 Ladies, tonight, keep your doors bolted. <laughs> bolted. And for those of you who have no bolts, <laughs> encase yourselves with four pairs of comms. <laughs> Seal off all exits and entrances. <laughs> yes, remember this. When men and women are concerned, divided we win, united we fall. <laughs> May I just say one thing more? Pompey for the cup. <gasps> Pardon my fan. Are there any? <laughs> are there any questions? Yes, yes, ladies, ladies, ignore this treacherous woman. How dare you? All men are fighting for you. Their weapons are primed, their armor burnished, their horses have had their oats. Yes, and they're the only ones who will. <laughs> oh, madam, I appeal to you. Oh, you don't, you know. <laughs> which we deserve. Let us have it. Yes, ladies, give it to them. Give what they deserve. Give them. That's it. Ladies, that's right. Keep up the good fight. Keep up the good fight and remember our slogans. No peace without peace. No peace without peace. And the bang bang. Bang, 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 bang. bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> Julia, look at this guy. This is your lord and master. Open the door, I'm breaking down. Go away! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would you believe it? I never thought I'd live to see the day my mistress bolted her door, I must say. <laughs> well, well, last week, she had a new sign put outside. Two beds, no waiting. <laughs> Master? Oh, look, you, this is terrible. Yes, the I know. women of Pompey have gone mad. Uh, it's a complete lockout. It is, Master, yes. It's all the fault of that wretched woman, Titty Carter. Yes, but now, look, if you'd only stop this fighting, give in to her demands, sign this peace treaty. Never. I've not finished with her. <laughs> She's only a woman. I wouldn't say that, Master. <laughs> Nonsense. Just a woman like any other woman. Well, I think she's got something the others haven't got. I must say. <laughs> well, yes, an extra persuasiveness, perhaps. Yes. But basically, a woman with a woman's weaknesses. We yes. Weaknesses? <laughs> yes, this battle may yet be won. <laughs> Hello? What's the old fool up to? It was a funny look on his face. Did you notice that? <laughs> Almost intelligent. <laughs> I've never seen that there before. I think I'd better go down the marketplace and organise another meeting for those women. The women, yes. That... Titty Carter. Titty Carter. Uh, young master, have you seen her? Oh, lucky. What a wonderful person she is. Oh, I suppose <laughs> she is. Really, yes. Oh, it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> I worship her. 
Oh, you can't! I mean, she's a... I, you see, I mean, she's not your type. I mean, she's... I mean, she's a little old for you, isn't she? What does age matter, Lurkio? She could be 50. Uh, do you mind? 25? <laughs> or would you believe 33, then? <laughs> oh, I don't care, Lurkio. I worship her. Titty Carter's the woman who'll make a man of me. Oh, I wouldn't bank on that, master. <laughs> oh, Lurkio, I know what'll happen. I shall take her. <gasps> and in the ecstasy of passion, quench the ache of my bleeding heart. You bleed him, won't you know? <laughs> dear, dear sisters, I have some very sad news for you. Oh. I fear I must leave you. Oh. You see, owing to circumstances beyond my control, namely, the possibility of my being unwittingly got at. <laughs> I... It would be embarrassing, perhaps, for me to have a longer linger here, you see? Oh. So I must transfer my activities somewhere else, to a land where the women are in ever more urgent need of help against their demanding menfolk. Oh, Australia. <laughs> Carter. Oh, yes, Lieutenant. I have been sent by General Ludacris Sextus to tell you that he accedes to your demands. Oh! Come with me now. Thank you. And he will sign a treaty guaranteeing peace forever. Ah, it is victory! Yay! You mind, ladies first. <laughs> Captain Bunches, I cannot overemphasize the importance of this assignment. Now, dishonor Titi Carter, for if we can overcome her resistance... All other resistance will collapse, sir. <laughs> yes, but can you handle her? Oh, she's a very tough customer. My dear General, I've handled rougher stuff than her and succeeded. Ask your wife. <laughs> well, now, she's in your hands, or at least... I hope she soon will be. <laughs> uh, the lady is here, sir. Ah, splendid, Lieutenant Precious. Show her in. Uh, will you come in, miss? Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. So kind. <laughs> uh, General, General Ludicrous. Where is a silly old fool, do you know? <laughs> now it's... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Captain. Uh, sorry, my dear. Did I startle you? Oh, not at all, not at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if I move too quickly. <laughs> Would you excuse me a moment? <laughs> there we are, level pickings again. <laughs> yes, now, Captain, I want to see the General. Mm. You see, I want him to sign a peace treaty. That's right, my dear, yeah. I know that. But you don't think that he would uh, do it for nothing, do you? Oh, oh no, no, mon capitaine, no, no. Mon capitaine? Uh, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> single-breasted yobbo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain, if you would tell the General to accede to my demands, the women would uh, <clears throat> cohabit again. Oh, that's mm. splendid. Yeah. All we have to decide is which comes first, a spot of signing or a spot of cohabiting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> What's he done that for? He hasn't got a nosebleed, has he? <laughs> <laughs> now, Captain, you're not on manoeuvres now, you know. Uh, no, actually, old girl, I think it's time we got a little chummy over a glass. Oh? A little drinky winky. Drinky, drinky little drinky, little drinky winky. winky. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty old devil, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I know what happens to these young girls. What? A locked door, a little drinky, a nuzzle around the ear, a rustle around the ear, a rustle around the ear, oh, same thing. <laughs> and bang, frying tonight. <laughs> Good night! Yeah! 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 Oh. <laughs> you see, I've come all lopsided again. Look, get up there. Damn things. They are a burden. I tell you what, yes. why don't we sit down quite calmly yes. and discuss 
Discuss the pros and cons. Ah, no, no, I never discuss other women. Other women? <laughs> pros and cons! <laughs> That's very good. Excuse me, look, you don't have to explain all the gags. They're not stupid, you know. <laughs> Sit down. May I recline here? Thank you so much. That's better. There we now. are. Drinky winkies! Oh, too much. Stop it over. <laughs> there we are now. Ah, little drinky! <laughs> Mother and child, I see. <laughs> Is this teensy weensy tot for me? Just for you. Yes. You wouldn't be trying to give me tiddly, but would you by any chance? Oh, no. <laughs> what would you do if I did? I'm not telling you, saucy. Oh, no, I won't. Be a sport, I'm not tell telling me. you, saucy. Please tell me. All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if I drink this lot, yes. I shall be up and down all night. <laughs> really? Yes, powdering my nose. <laughs> Well, here's to us. Bottoms up. Yeah, not tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, thank you so much. You know... What? You are an exciting woman. Am I? Oh, I suppose I've been told that, yes. Mm. My dear Titty Carter. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, may I just call you... You know, you may be <laughs> too. Oh, I shall have to shorten your name, Bumptious. <laughs> There's no need to be suspicious of me. I've nothing to hide. Oh, no, but I have. <laughs> you know. What? I'm absolutely crazy about Oh, you. now, now, do you mind? <laughs> Just get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. It's like cohabiting with an octopus, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my little plum. Eh? My little plum. Yes, well, I'm not going to be picked tonight. <laughs> I look ripe. Oh, now, mad about get you. Away. Mad about you. Now, don't be naughty. Let me love you'll you. Be, no, I won't. I know what you're going to say. You're, now, you're making a mistake. You're not the same as any other girl. Uh, no. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, my dear. No, no, no please. I don't. will not be denied. You Let will. Me love no, you. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Been robbed. <laughs> you naughty little cheat, you. Yes, keep that as a souvenir. <laughs> this won't keep me away from you. Look, Captain, if you'll be a good boy, I'll give you the other one to play with. There you go. That's the set. Make a booby trap. <laughs> now, get away. Oh, you sorceress, now, come here. No, no, don't. I've got you. Do as I want, and I've got a little surprise for you. Yes, if I do what you want, I'll, I'll have a hell of a surprise for you. <laughs> well, call the help! Get the fast! Get the fast! Get the ah, Precious, it's working, it's working. Ludicrous, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. Your champion, Titty Carter, is in that room with Captain Bumptious. I don't believe it. Do listen. Oh. oh, no, don't. No, please, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you achieve your objective? Don't talk of it. We must surrender. Sign the treaty. Sign the treaty. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there you are, you see. That is how we stopped the men fighting. But things didn't work out the way we hoped, because soon after, there was yet another war. Would you believe it? Yet another war. They went off fighting. They all went off fighting about two weeks ago. I think they're coming back. They're coming back now. Sinister yes, they Dexter, are. Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter, Sinister Dexter. Lise, you must admit, it's a very moving show. <laughs> Welcome home. How went the war? Never mind that. First things first. <laughs> I'll be out for you in a moment. Ladies, dismiss. Oh, was it marvelous? Look at them. Look at them. Isn't it marvelous? Say the women. Look. Wait, don't rush. Wait. Good gracious, the women. They're worse than the men, aren't they? They really are. The women. They're worse than the men. But look at me, you see, as usual, left all alone. It is a shame. Oh. If only someone would come back from the war for me. <laughs> you! Oh.